Now we're going to create our first program that is going to give us access to the web. And uh, I guess I should say we're going to access it from the web. And uh, it will also give us uh, some access to the web uh, when we get into the full CGI uh, part of it. But there it is. There's our friendly little program, Printf Hello World, uh, that we've been seeing the whole series. And all we have in front of this is a simple line that is going to print out the HTTP header. This is called a, a MIME type. Uh, text slash plane is a is a MIME type, and that tells the web client, your web browser, what it's about to receive, because this information is going back out to the client after the client makes its request for the name of this program. Uh, the client, the web browser, asks for this thing to be run. It does start up and runs just as if you had run it from the command line like we had done all of the other C programming that we've been doing. And this output will go to the standard out. In our case, the standard out is the web server process. So our standard output goes back to the server. The server takes the information, uh, packages it with some other information that needs to go to the client, the, the number of bytes in the content, and things like that. And then it sends the whole thing back out to the browser, uh, whether it's IE or Firefox or whatever you're running, Opera and all the rest of them out there. It doesn't matter. The HTTP, the hypertext transfer protocol that's underneath it all stays the same. So that's what we, that's the big change we need to make in our printf is that content type and then the hello world. So let's go down here. We are in the CGI bin and our hello world.c is already there and I will type it out for you. So you can see it. There it is. There's our main two printouts. That's all there is to it. We'll compile and link it. Compiled and linked. And now we have a hello world.object, as always. And we have our hello world.exe, just like we figure we're going to. So uh, now we need to call this program. We need to ask for it to be run. So to get it to run, we need to bring up our browser. And uh, that window is still left up from before when we looked at this. And we need to go to, we need to go to the local host. And you know what? That's not going to work. Because remember, we created another directory. We created the CGI dash bin. There we go. And now let me make this a little bigger for you. Well, oh, that is. There we go. There's a localhost CGI bin. Remember, that's that executable directory that we created. And then another slash and then hello world.exe. That's the executable program that we just now compiled and created. And if we run it, hello world. Pretty amazing. Let's look at the uh, source code here again. Take a look at this. I want you to note that right there. That's text plain. That is not text HTML, which is a hypertext markup language and the way you're probably familiar with creating web pages if you've done any of that. When a MIME type of text plain is sent to the browser, we're telling the browser, don't worry about trying to position all this stuff. We are going to send you plain text. We are not sending you HTML with head tags and title tags and things like that. So when we go back here, and look at the output of Hello World Exe. If we do a view source, that's it. It's exactly what was put out because we told it that this was a simple text type of output. So there's nothing wrapped around it. Now let's go back and change our program. And instead of text plain, we will make it text HTML. We still have two new lines coming after the text HTML and the two new lines, one line, new line, terminates this content type. The second new line provides a blank line in between the header and the actual content that is going to come, come next. So we have to have two new lines. Now, if we want to print hello world again, it's just as simple as typing correctly. And we do not need any carriage returns in this. It can all be strung together. doesn't matter. Look, 
look pretty familiar so far. Just plain old HTML. When I'm doing it like this, I kind of put these on each line, though obviously they can be strung together. It's not any big deal. And we're actually going to write some functions here shortly that will do these things over and over for us so we don't have to mess with this all the time. It's tougher typing when somebody's looking over your shoulder. Okay, there's our HTML. What are we missing? Oh, we didn't close our HTML. I bet you knew that, didn't you? You were yelling at the screen trying to get me to close that. There we go. So there's our HTML, our beginning of our head section. There's our title tags. Close the head, open the body, print our text, and we should really put a paragraph marker there, but since that's the only thing we're printing. I'm not going to worry about it. Close the body, close the HTML, save the file, and let's go compile it. Compile on link, hello world.c, and uh, surprisingly enough, it does it. We'll come back here and refresh the page, which we know to be our executable. Okay, I clicked uh, reload to reload our hello world exe. And you probably noticed that the font changed just a tiny bit from the text font that was up there, probably some kind of a courier, to this Hello World, this standard font that's here. I don't know what that's called. Probably should times something or other, New Roman or something like that. But let's uh, now take a look at the view source. Ah, there's our HTML head title. And look at that up there, too. We have our title now. That changed. VTCC programming. And... Then there's the end of the head, there's the body and our hello world that we put out there, the end of the body in the HTML, everything that we told the program to put out there when we rewrote it over here in hello world.c. All right, so that's your job. Go create this program in your CGI bin and then execute it and work through the issues with it. If there are any, there really shouldn't be any. And go to your local host slash CGI bin, hello world.exe, and you'll get your output that you created, which should be hello world. There we go. So our simple program, and we updated it to use both text plane and text HTML. We've worked in two different MIME types so far, and we might see a few more as we go along in our video series here. So hang in there.